Allow me to share with you the remarkable ministry of Fred Francis Bosworth, who was better known as F.F. Bosworth. F.F. Bosworth held some of the largest evangelistic and healing campaigns of the 1920s and 30s in the United States and Canada. He led over one million souls to Christ over the course of his long ministry. And more than 225,000 people sent into his ministry headquarters written testimonies of being healed in his meetings. F.F. Bosworth had a gift of healing and great success, in particular in praying for people who were deaf. David Duplessy reports that in 1928 he attended a F.F. Bosworth meeting, and he was a witness when they brought in children from a school for the deaf. And Bosworth prayed for each child individually, and each child instantly began hearing perfectly. And a comical outcome of this was that they had to shut down the school for the deaf because they no longer had any students. Such is the wonder of our God. F.F. Bosworth was born in 1877 on a farm near Utica, Nebraska. He was born again at 16. Later, he came down with tuberculosis and was in the advanced stages of TB when he was taken to a healing meeting that was held by a female healing evangelist of the day named Maddie Perry. Bosworth was healed instantly, and he saw for the first time that the God of his day was the same healing and miracle-working God that was seen in the Bible days of old. F.F. Bosworth was filled with the Spirit in 1906 under the ministry of Charles Parham. Later, Bosworth visited the Azusa Street Revival in Los Angeles. This was a Pentecostal revival that had broken out in an African-American mission, and there he met William Seymour, who was the pastor of that mission, and he also met John G. Lake, who later developed into a great healing ministry of his own. F.F. Bosworth pioneered the First Assembly of God of Dallas, Texas, and it experienced a 10-year-long revival during which they had daily meetings in which people were saved and healed and filled with the Spirit. In August of 1911, he experienced a very painful experience when he was invited to preach in Hearn, Texas, and he preached to a crowd of African Americans and Caucasian Americans in the same service. And after the service, some of the townspeople came and beat him savagely with two-by-fours for daring to preach to African Americans and white people as though they were equals. They put his suitcase in his hand and sent him out of town, and he had to walk to the next town. But as he walked to the next town, he reported, as he was bleeding and and nursing his wounds, he thanked God for the opportunity to suffer for the name of Jesus. And it was after that then in the 1920s and 30s that he developed into his strongest healing anointing of all and had the great healing meetings. In the 1940s, when the healing revival broke out, he was pretty well retired, but he came out of retirement to mentor William Branham, T.L. Osborne, and Oral Roberts, and to teach and to pour into them the truths he had learned in praying for the sick, particularly in holding mass healing meetings. And in 1958, F.F. Bosworth went to be with the Lord. I had the opportunity to talk with Bosworth's granddaughter, and she told me this of Bosworth. She said, My grandfather was different than the majority of ministers today. So many seek an experience with God. My grandfather never sought an experience with God. He sought to walk with God. Many myths have arisen concerning my grandfather, such as the idea that he never experienced sickness. But he had bouts of sicknesses, like everyone else does, but he sought God until he was healed. F.F. F. Bosworth was a perfectly ordinary man who walked with an extraordinary God. I invite you to listen to the audio clips of F.F. F. Bosworth, a man who won multitudes to Christ and set the world ablaze in his day with the fires of healing evangelism. My prayer is that you too will be a perfectly ordinary individual who chooses to walk with an extraordinary God.